Hi, sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new, welcome. Here's a quilt that I have been working on in the evenings for quite a while now. I received it in the fall. It was half a quilt, and I have enjoyed making the flowers for this quilt and trying to get it to be a little bit bigger. It started out as a vintage quilt. I've added some more modern fabrics that I had in my stash that hopefully kind of goes along with the fabrics the uh, quilter began with. And here it is wh when it was given to me and I called it kind of half a quilt. I've shared about this quilt in previous videos here and there. So I'll leave links below. And I've been working on getting it all together and I hit a little milestone today so I thought I would share. I began this project by making a lot of these little flowers. I think I had to make about 57 or 58 of these flowers. The Actually, the little cardboard template was still with this quilt, which was really fun. And a lot of the green fabric was still with this unfinished quilt. But I did have to uh, get some more green fabric, and that was quite actually a little tricky. The green that I have here in my stash was not exactly the same green. I did go to the fabric store recently to see if I could find the same green color, but I couldn't. So I went ahead and used the green that was very close in shade to the green that this original quilter had used. And I've been working pretty steady almost every night for about an hour or so I will sit and piece this beautiful quilt. After adding all of the flowers that I was going to add, I hadn't decided yet what to do with the edges of my quilt. As you can see, one side is a little bit wavy, but this side right here has those big empty spots, and I hadn't decided yet what I was going to do. But last week, I figured I would make some half flowers to go into these empty sections on the top and the bottom of my quilt. So here's the first one I did and I did it incorrectly. So I had to go back and sort of adjust those hexagons so that they would fit into those blank spots. And I only needed to make 10 of these sort of half flowers. And after I made my flowers, I added them to those blank areas on the top and the bottom.
here is the quilt before I filled in those gaps on the top and the bottom. I made those half flowers and then here's the quilt after I added them and I'm really happy I decided to do that. That probably was the best option but since I'm kind of blind blind here I'm just doing like one thing at a time trying to figure this quilt out and I did lay it on my bed and it's so pretty I might add a border so that it's big enough for my queen size bed. And then just for fun, I wanted to show you this little sweater that I finished recently. I don't know if any of you do some knitting, but knitting is always a great project to have on the go. And I was able to finish this little baby sweater and give it away this week. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.